Hello guys, it's me Simu Orahara and in this video we'll talk about the meeting that took place between Aizen, Sosuke and Yohabach. Why did Yohabach come to Aizen and why Aizen rejected Yohabach's offer? And is it really as Yohabach said that Aizen, Sosuke and Yohabach has the same goal? And why we have seen Aizen, Sosuke without seals on his left eye and his mouth? All of these questions we will try to answer in this video. So let's start from the last question. What we know, according to the manga, is when the Central Room 46 has announced its judgment on Aizen Sosuke, we have seen that the entire body of Aizen was covered by those seals, even his left eye in his mouth. And therefore we didn't see any other scenes that talks about Aizen the Moken until chapter 510. Again, I speak only according to what came in the manga, not the new season of the anime. In the manga when the real Yohabach appeared, he told the old man that he had gone to visit Aizen Sosuke and offered him to join him, but Aizen refused. We didn't see the conversation that took place between them at that time, but we know that the conversation did take place. Therefore, there is two important questions must be asked. First, how did Yohabach manage to enter the Moken? especially since Kyoraku mentioned that Moken has gates and they have special keys and without those keys you cannot leave that place. And Aiza himself didn't want to kill Kyoraku because of the risk that he would stay there forever since Kyoraku had the key inside his body. Second, and this is the most important thing, how did Yohabach manage to talk to Aizen Sosuke since the seal covered Aizen's entire body? If you want to answer the first question, it's not difficult. Yohabach possesses capabilities that may enable him to penetrate the gates of the Moken. Maybe he can use shadows that makes him move from place to another place. But as for the second question, it's confusing and opens up several questions that Kobo needs to answer. Because at the end of episode 6, the conversation that took place between Aizen and Yohabach and it didn't appear in the manga, we don't know what happened before that conversation. Did Yohabach come to Aizen? and saw him already without seals on his left eye and his mouth? Or did Yohabach come to Aizen and saw him covered with all the seals like what we have seen in this page and he's the one who removed them? Because what makes this whole thing a little bit messy is the existence of another events of Aizen, Sosuke and the Moken, which isn't in the manga, but in the novel Spirits Are Forever With You, and it happened before even the Four Bring arc. One of the Moken prisoners who is the 8th Kenpachi spoke to Aizen Sosuke, but before he could do so, Azuchiro Soya removed the seal on Aizen's left eye and his mouth. Meaning that according to the novel, the appearance of Aizen Sosuke which we saw in episode 6 may be caused by Azuchiro Soya and he is the one who removed those seals. But here we will enter into what I can call it maze of events. Are all these events of the novel canon, or just few of them, and especially the presence of the novel, is canon or not? It's true that theoretically, the time of the events of the novel does not contradict the chronology of the story because it falls between the events of the Arankara arc and the beginning of the Fullbring arc. But at the same time, there are things that are difficult to accept as canon, at least for me, such as Zaraki's fight with Azero Soya, and Zaraki's fight with uh, Thea and Espada Zero, and Kubo previously stated that this fight was not supervised by him, but Narita was the one who wrote it, and through it he deduced the mechanism of Zaraki's power. Also, there is Roka and her use of Mugitsu, Yuryu and Don Kanonji got involved in Azuchiro Soya's fight as well. And a lot of things that happened in Karakura Town. However, we didn't see any character in the manga talking about it. Even when Onahana spoke about the fights of Zaraki, she didn't mention anything about Azuchiro Soya. Therefore, in the absence of any official source from Kobo in which he says that the events of the novel canon, I will put the removal of the sails by Azero Soya just a possibility. And there is a second possibility that it might have been Yohaba who actually did this and not Azero Soya if Kobo didn't consider the events of the novel to be canon. Of course some of you might say, but in the colored page of chapter 617, Aizen appeared covered with all the seals and that those removed seals were removed by Kyoraku and no one else. Well, I think that's not the case, that's not what happened, Kyoraku just thought 
he had removed the seals on Aizen's mouth. But think about it guys, how you Habach could in the first place talk with Aizen if this latter couldn't speak? It's clear that Aizen's mouth wasn't covered by any seal, which means that either you Habach found them were removed and in that case uh, the one who did it is Azazel Soya or you Habach is the one who removed them. Especially since all the seals contain the name of the parts of Aizen's body, meaning that Yohabach all he has to do is remove the seal on his mouth and eyes so that he can communicate with him. Because think about it guys, if Aizen had accepted the deal of Yohabach, Yohabach would have destroyed all the seals that were on Aizen's body. Here we move to the question of why Aizen Soski had rejected Yuhabach's offer. And why did Yuhabach even go to Aizen Soski? Does Yuhabach really need support from Aizen Soski? In fact, Yuhabach doesn't need the support of a third party because, as you have seen, Yuhabach has reached his goal without anyone's help. He destroyed the Soul Society, killed the old man, defeated Ichibi and the Zero Squad. The only thing he needed was Ichigo to cut Ryu, and Ichigo did it. But it seems that Yuhabach had a bold policy of its kind, which is, instead of getting rid of the characters that might pose a threat to the course of his plans, he decided to make them join his army. First, he went to Aizen Soski, he offered him to join him, but this latter refused, and he was going to do the same thing with Ichigo when he told him that he would take him back to the Van der Reich and re-educate him from the beginning. And also he made Yuryu to join his army. Whether Yuryu was the one who personally went to the Van der Reich or not, all things indicate that Yuhabach was really intended to make Yuryu join his army. But more than that, he made him his successor and awakened the strength of his Schrift. However, Yuhabach was wrong about one thing. He thought that he knows what Aizen's true goal, and it seems that Yuhabach had a superficial perception of Aizen's goal. He thought Aizen wanted to destroy the Soul Society, as long as destroying the Soul Society was one of the plans of Yuhabach. So he thought that this is a common point between them. But what I think what Yuhabach didn't know is that Aizen Sosuke already knew the identity of Yuhabach as well as what his original goal was. And as you have seen, Aizen indicated in his words that he already knew who Yuhabach was uh, before he met him personally. For example, in the novel Can't Fear Your Own World, in one of its special chapters that was about Sosin's past and his conversation with Aizen Soski, who was at that time the captain of the 5th division, Aizen said that he don't approve of setting the world back to what was originally, as the founder of the Quincy's who invaded the Soul Society in the past wanted. And as you can read, Aizen Soski knew that there was a king of the Quincy's 1000 years ago. And even more than that, Aizen Soski knew Yuhabach's original goal. And this is what surprised me, because it wouldn't be difficult for Aizen Soski to know that a battle took place between Yamato and Yuhabach a thousand years ago. Some captions had this information like Mayuri, maybe Kyoraku, Okitaki. But for Aizen to know even Yuhabach's real goal, this is something that frankly amazes me. How did Aizen Soski know this? Did his knowledge of the original sin committed by the nobles and the identity of the Soul King directly made him know the true identity of Yuhabach, being the son of Ryu or the embodiment of his power, and thus he was able to know his goal. But knowing Yuhabach's goal made Aizen Soski know that his plan was far from what Yuhabach wanted, so it's true that both of them wanted to remove Ryu, but Yuhabach wants the original word, while Aizen wanted something else. And so for that, Aizen Sosuke rejected the deal of Yuhabach. And lastly, as for how did Aizen get to manipulate Yuhabach using the Kyoka Suigitsu, I think that due to the fact that uh, Aizen is fused with his Zanpakuto. So guys, tell me what do you think, give me your opinion, and see you in my next video.